<laughs> we laughed just because we were told that yesterday, and then we I don't expect him back. Um, Joe Zaludek is his designated person, and he, John has delegated his, you know, to Joe as the project manager. And I think Joe is happy to talk with you and meet with you. And he said even to give you his number. If you didn't oh, I it. just spoke with Joe, and okay. he invited us to meet with him, and we explained to him. Um, as we had explained yesterday when we were here, when we talked with Joe, he doesn't never necessarily have information from John or his backing, and so we've been told a lot of things that just didn't pan out. Well, I, 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 Joe has John's backing, okay. and he has what information that is he has to share. He has what information he can share, but that's not the information we need, so we really need to talk to John. I can't help you with that right now. Okay, we'll wait. It's not well, I'm not sure that John will be back this afternoon. And Maybe calling him the option. We can't have all these many people in here because we have to keep this office open. So you can have one or two people stay and wait we'll if you choose. John's here. No, but that's not mm -hmm. my what I'm asking you. But that's I'm kind of what I'm letting you know and everything we have. Well, I'm going to ask you Here's again. Thank you. We'll be happy to give you can save us some money. Politely, nicely, you all understand that this is a public office and we have other people doing business here and you don't need this many people to wait to see if John will show back up here. And so I'm asking you all to please allow us to continue to keep this office open and do business. We won't interfere with any business. No. We'll leave that, this path I'm, open. Yeah. Dean, I'll, Dean, I'll appeal we'll to we'll you. Be. Michael, I'll appeal to you. Mm -hmm. I'm at, I, we, uh, if I have to call for support, I will, but it would really be um, in the spirit of cooperation if y'all would have one or two people, if you'd insist on waiting, um, to wait, and that we can't have this many people in the office. I think we really hate that we're having to put you in this position, well, I but I like think you would understand <laughs> that it's John that has put you in this position, no. not us. So we're going to clear the areas. We promise we are be very polite as we've been. And we won't area. interfere with any business. If you clear the area, that'd be great. Please That's not great. Clear out into the lobby. No, we'll clear this <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not right. People who weren't drinking are drinking. People who weren't taking drugs are taking drugs because they are very upset, they are very nervous, and they feel really intimidated. And so that's why we're here. And the only person, the only people possible to help us so are John or Kitty Piercy. Well, and either one of them can come out and talk to us. We will leave. Mayor Piercy is here. not in town. Not here. He was and Joe, yesterday. And Joe Zaludek is, mm -hmm. is the designated person, and he's agreed to talk with you and meet with you. And we told him we'd love to meet with him as long as John's at the table, but we've had so many needs. I hate for you to be in this position, but I know you are. Um, we have to see John, and we're willing to help. And maybe if you could communicate to John that we just feel that the urgency, the emergency, the danger that's being posed, the harm that's being done down in Greek Bill Rock. Clear from room in this office and yeah. Why don't we move back a little bit? Issues yeah. so I can get them to John? It, it hasn't changed since you and I spoke about an hour and a half ago. Okay. Um, we really need to talk to John. We've told you all the reasons, sure. um, and we're prepared to stay here and wait for John. Okay. I don't, that's not going to happen today. John is off site today, okay. he's not in the building. And, um, we you know, we were told that yesterday, and then as soon as we got outside, two different of our scouts spotted him leaving the building. So it's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't matter because we're going to stay and wait until he does decide to come back on site. Okay, well that may be a while, so I don't okay. know what your interest is, whether it's going to be inside of the door or right outside here of the is door. Fine. Well, we're, 
promised James Bond, but that we'll leave these doors open. We don't want in any way to interfere with business or make anybody feel any more uncomfortable than is necessary with having a crowded office. But we do need to stay here. We've been patient so long, and uh, it's not making things come down the way they need to in terms of who will. We need, and I've sent John another email at 2 o'clock today saying that all we want at this point is for him and you and Eric to delay the evictions from Whoville until the council can return to town and vote to locate the two rest stops they voted for in a place that's practical. As John said, one of them's not practical. You and I know the other ones are not very practical. So what we want, and we think we have the votes, as I told you earlier, is John's word that he will not do any more eviction work until after the counselors have had a chance to vote on April 9th. We're not asking him to disregard the council's instructions to shut back down by the 15th at all. We're asking him just to wait until the 9th because the council clearly intended to set up two rest stops and no fault of yours or mine, but those rest stops haven't been set up. Well, I understand. Yeah, what so I've that's been all. Directed is to um, advise you of the present census. Presently, um, just got up the phone with um, contact that was talking to the Eugene Mission. They said they have 40 spots for men. They have six spots for women. What we're offering to do, if somebody has equipment or camping gear that they're unable to take to the mission, we will store that at the um, public works yard and provide them a receipt so that in the event that uh, when they come out of the mission or, and there is a rest stop available, they can get their equipment back and not lose it. And that's our, our, yeah. our um, as, as you know, Joe, most of the people at Whoville, many of them have physical handicaps which cannot be taken. They won't be accepted in the mission. Or they have mental health issues that involve not being able to be in the social situation that exists in the mission. Other of them, if they have even smoked pot once in the last 30 days, the mission runs random intrusive blood tests, and they would be immediately evicted for six months. So the mission is not a viable solution for most of our residents. And as you know, there are no other solutions. What we have is a hope that on April 9th, 30 people will have the promise of the council fulfilled and they will have a place to go at the two rest stops. But right now, we don't, there's no place, you know it, for any of these folks to go. Well, I, I understand. And I know you have to say what and, you're saying. And, but, and, and, you know, but I do yeah. mean it. Uh, <laughs> I know that it doesn't, there are, um, I think you said many or most of the um, members may not be able to go to the mission, but right. there may be some. And so our interest is to find those. Who, those that might be available, to provide them whatever support, transportation, and storage that we right. can to encourage them to uh, get to the shelter that we can provide, and then stick to what the council's motion is, which is to proceed with the advisement um, from a month ago and then again last week. And I, you know, I know that um, we're not in conflict on on the humane transition that we're trying to get to. We're just um, trying to function with the capacity issues that we have of the f 15 that we're hoping to get a contract to sign tomorrow. Yeah, and we're hoping for that too. But the mission for most people, Jack Tripp came through the director, spoke with folks, identified about five people that he might thought he might be able to accept into his program. And there, as you know, we have about 50 people right now. So we have sent people, we've gotten one person into Opportunity Village, we've gotten one person into a you know, rest stop. We're trying as hard as you are to try well, to that. find yes. places for people, but we're all in the same ditch. There, there aren't any places. So we're, you and I are in the same jam, all of us are sure. in the same jam. And the only people that can save us right now are the counselors and the mayor. The mayor, I think, travels tomorrow. I have a meeting scheduled with her Friday. Yes. Mm -hmm. We do think we have Sorry. enough votes so that if John could just slow down, that's what we want him to do. And we want him to tell us personally that he's going to wait until after the night. And then we'll take it only straight out of the mouth. No, okay. I understand. <laughs> and, and, and I don't believe that's going to happen today. What I can do is... Um, so communication. You have uh, my word because I had 
met at one point off site with him today. I know that he's not in the building, but mm -hmm. so if that means anything, but so he's definitely um, not on the premises. But um, I can uh, communicate your interests and uh, give me a few minutes Good. and I will. Please make base. it clear to him that we aren't leaving. I understand. Okay. Thank I you. just don't want him to misunderstand, misconstrue okay. the situation. Hey yeah. guys. Our banner on the fence has to be taken down. Pardon? And it just yeah. doesn't make sense why a banner that is symbolizing something has to be taken down. Well, if you remember, Red, I was pretty clear when we put that fence up at Caviar. Well, I think that part of the whole thing is over and done with. We're past that point now, don't you think? No. Is that really the relationship you want to foster here? I don't think so. I don't think it was just a message to the public, and you don't want us to give that message to the public is the way I see it, no, sir. I didn't even read it. That's I didn't what I mean. What you didn't wrong. even read what was being put it out there. The agreement was that there wouldn't be anything posted on the fence. It was a symbol to show you what a fence with a banner on it looks like. So you don't have to look agreement. at the camp. It was a good faith agreement. It's going to be put up, I think. What we did was we because it's a message to the community. Oh, well, we're not going to argue about it. Yeah. Right no, we're not. So, Red, just wonder if you could step away from the room. Okay. Jane yeah <laughs> 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 So what I would like to kind of get a sense is there's um, 40 people here. I know at least some are not going to potentially be arrested, and I'm not saying that's going to be the outcome. Mm -hmm. But if you had a number, is there? A, a I think we're going to have to wait and see. Just kind of wait and see. Yeah, quite a few, but we don't know absolute on a couple. Mm -hmm. How big is your wagon? Well, it's only Buddy five boy. blocks. We can just walk. We can. I can't. I can't. I got fat knees. I'll carry you. Okay. That would, that would be the photo. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want to be the blushing bride. Jerry. I've had too many of those. I can't afford another X. So, um, the building is closed. Yeah. Is this a city you just saw this place. Oh, that was a good little place. It was like totally a block from the rest of 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 the rest so absolutely no progress has been made with the number of people who showed up here for the last two days and we're showing support for leaving it open until council gets back and you in on until there actually are sufficient sites open for the people that are there as was promised earlier. Mm -hmm. yeah. What I understood him right to say was that people who remain in the building at this time are subject to arrest. The entire building. <laughs> we just, just ask, just ask Joseph, any progress has been That anyone who is not going to be arrested should leave now. And he also, he did not advise us, but Mr. Zaludic, Joe Zaludic, advised us that there has been absolutely no change in the city manager's positions since yesterday. So I guess we may need to come back with a couple hundred folks. I don't know. But thank you all for being here. So where do we find you outside? Beatrice? Is it cold? Uh, but they might, but yeah, the fish 
13? 13 is what I count. Unless I counted great ones.